guys welcome back to my channel welcome or welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have this brown curly wig from OMG her hair so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look together then just keep on watching okay so I'm gonna get right into the unboxing and I'm gonna read the specs for you guys as I show the unboxing on the screen for you guys so this is the OMG her hair invisible drawstring luscious brown wong curls 360 lace wig it has 20 inches of hair and it's 180 percent density with this wig it says in order to achieve a glue free installation they added an extra option of having the non-slip silicone in the back so you have like three areas of that non-slip silicone and i'm glad they thought of that because 360 wigs are cool and everything but i don't like wearing glue or tape with my wig so and at the back it has pre-cut lace just like in the front it has a drawstring as well um and I'm probably just going to use bobby pins to you know to keep this wig secure so I'm going to do a high ponytail for you guys or like at least something with like a claw clip just some more specs about this glueless wig it's going to be super fitted it has a glueless wig cap it has real invisible hd lace pre-cut hairline in the front and the back because this is a 360 wig uh, so you can wear it in a high bun and a high ponytail and it has the hidden adjustable elastic band so that's the drawstring also i'm just looking at this this wig has one two three four combs in it so it's like one in the middle one two on the side and then one longer one in the back so here's my natural hair right now i am going to put on my wig cap and we're going to get this installed i can't break my hair yet because it's still short but it's growing at the same time but what i do is i wear two wig caps so my hair is more flat. So I do the first one and then I follow it up with another one. Okay, so let's just try it on for the initial try on. And I see that they have like the ear contours as well. It's already cut around the ears. A lot of companies don't have that. That's like something we have to have to do. So let's try her on and see how much work we have to do. First of all, this chocolate brown is very pretty. Like already, I think that color is pretty. So I'm gonna sit this back a little bit. It does feel kind of tight on my head. I'll probably have to loosen that up. But this is what the 20 inches looks like on me. I'm six feet tall and this is where it falls on me. So I am probably gonna go ahead and cut some of the excess lace off. And I always pull mine down when I do that just so I don't cut my own hairline. So this is what the hairline is looking like. It looks good, but I do have some lifting over here. So I'm gonna use some spray to tack that down.
You guys saw the process of me applying this wig. I was going for with the overall look was like a 90s vibe. So I went with kind of a matte neutral makeup. And I did this just simple updo style. So all I did was I put a claw clip. I just kind of twisted the base of the ponytail. And then just put a claw clip in the back here. That's pretty much it. I have one little clip on alligator clip on one side just because... Uh, just to give the ponytail a little bit more structure on that one side. Um, but this is a lot of hair, so you can just put some of the curls over the clip and it'll, you know, disappear. And then to conceal the back of the wig, I took pieces of the wig and I cut it shorter and just made sure it covered the perimeter of the bottom of the back of the wig. And it does have the invisible drawstring so it's up here and you tighten it up here you also have the non-slip silicone pads that are like in three areas like in the back in the middle in the back and then on the sides but i still decided to secure it down with a few bobby pins as well but cutting the hair over like cutting some hair to go over the lace that comes in the back is a good idea especially if you're wearing it glueless like I am but I do think this would be really nice if you got somebody else to if you know how to glue down the back blow dry it it's possible but it seems like it would be easier if you got somebody else to help you install the back with some glue um, even if you don't want to use actual glue you can use the lace bond back back here as well you just gotta blow dry it in sections just like you do with the front of the hairline um, but I actually think it turned out pretty good in the back considering, considering I wasn't like looking at it. I would have to think about it, cut some off and then watch the footage back to see how it looked. And I think it looks pretty good. And then I have like little sideburns and stuff out. And I think that just looks so, so pretty and definitely gives like a vintage nineties vibe to me. It does to me anyway. So as far as the pros and cons, so as far as everything pretty much is a pro to me i love the color of this wig the curls the wand curls that they already have established look so pretty i'm wearing this pretty much out the pack the only thing i did was i did like put a little bit of foam on the curls in the back but it wasn't really necessary because when they dry down they look like they did out the pack if you are wearing this down though uh and you guys saw what it looked like first out the pack when it's down if you're wearing it down you might want to add some foam and kind of reform the curls because it might give it a different kind of look but for this ponytail for this uh updo style i feel like i didn't have to completely do the curls over i think they look really pretty um the hairline is already it's a uh, one of those wigs that has the hairline already tweezed the knots are already bleached so and the lace is already pre-cut so it's very very convenient i just trim back some of the lace in the front a little bit just to get it to my liking the only con i have is just i'm just not a lace girl like i used to be i like i love wigs but i don't like wearing wigs on my hairline especially when i'm going out just because i feel like no matter the lace wig i feel like 
you're always going to be able to tell lace. So I did do a sunlight test for you guys. It is overcast today and I could see my lace. You're going to see it because it's a fabric, okay? We've been, I've been saying that and other people have been saying that for a long time. So you're going to see it to some extent. And I always make sure the lace looks good on camera just so I don't have like that white cast. But sometimes when I do that, when I go out natural lighting, my lace does look more dark and more detectable. So just, I would recommend if you could try to tint your lace in natural lighting instead of like in studio lights, like what I'm in front of, because it's going to look the most realistic in real life. But when I went outside, I could see my lace, but I still think this is a beautiful look and this is a nice wig. That would just be my only con. Just because the lace is thin though. It's just, you got to play around with the lace tint. And that'll kind of make or break your wig. Because this lace is super thin. It's just I could see the the difference between where my skin is and then where the wig's lace starts. So that is the case with most lace wigs. You're going to have to play around with how you conceal it to make it look the most undetectable and natural. So overall, I think this is very beautiful. And I feel like I'm giving 90s fine with this look. Okay. So if you are interested in this wig from OMG Her Hair, you can head over to their website. I do have a coupon code for you guys and it will be listed in the description box for you guys. Shout out to OMG Her Hair for sponsoring today's video and shout out to you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and please subscribe and follow me on all of my other social media platforms, LTK, Instagram, and TikTok at iFancyCupcakes and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh,